this one thing that I've learned. It is the art of multitasking. So we are going to have this chat during bath time. So come on in. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Pop and Shay, but you knew that already. So today's video, I'm gonna give the new moms um, just some advice, really some essentials that I learned was necessary um, during this postpartum period. Um, I have a one month old. He was born on December 20th. Oof, mom brain. I'm going to share with you all um, what I have deemed as necessary during this one month period of having a newborn. Um, basically some newborn essentials. And like I said, I'm giving him a bath. So if this video ends up pretty choppy, it's because he's probably screaming and I edited that part out. <laughs> but so far, so good. Starting off this topic, um, one thing that I found very necessary, which I don't know why I wasn't gonna, I thought I wasn't gonna use many of these items, um, burp cloths. I did not think for some reason I was going to have a very, like, I, I was going to say spitty uppy, but I know that's not a word or phrase. I just thought I was not going to have a baby that spit up that much to where I needed more than five burp cloths, you know? Turns out I was wrong. Um, so one of my panic purchases during the middle of the night during this newborn phase was some more muslin birth cloths. You can never have too many. I probably have like 12 in my arsenal in total. Um, but yeah, you can never have too many because if he gives you a good spit up now and like you get the spit up in the middle of the muslin birth cloth, that cloth is done. Also, I keep one in the living room and then one on my bedside cart at a time. Um, and then the rest are in the hall closet. So yeah, you can never have too many muslin birth cloths. Um, I now know this, um, it's a staple pretty much. <laughs> um, and then with that, I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, I didn't know this item was even, really even existed. Um, receiving blankets. I was gifted so many receiving blankets and I didn't understand why someone would give me that texture of a blanket um, because they're not thick like a typical cotton blanket would be. They're not thick. Um, some of them are not even very long, but for a long time I was using it as a swaddle for him. Um, until he grew out of not liking being swaddled at all. So also I have even used them for spit up, you know, cause they are a texture to where um, it'd be easy to wash the spit up out. And also the spit up wouldn't get everywhere if you were to use it. Um, so for moms on a budget, I would say that receiving blankets have multiple uses. And again, I have a whole shelf of just receiving blankets to this day. Um, so yeah, receiving blankets slash burp cloths, really useful during this newborn period. Um, and then again, that takes out you having to purchase, um, specific swaddles that have like the Velcro and everything. Um, if you just have a receiving blanket, you could use those as swaddles for the newborn stage. Um, but yeah, moving on. Um, something I did not know we needed um, was an actual nose picker. And I'll insert a photo of the one that we use from Frida Baby. Um, we use an actual nose picker and it has like multiple sides to where it could be. There's one picker for the nose, one picker for the ears, one for under their nail bed, and then one for the inside of their belly button that you can dig out <laughs> your cake so yeah that became very helpful especially because it had all those attachments to it it became very helpful for 
when it came time to pick all of these areas, which we do pretty often. I really did not know that a newborn's nails could get so dirty because of what are you touching? And, <laughs> but he's like scratching himself, he's scratching me. So that and nail clippers, um, I'll put those together. Nail clippers are an essential. I did pack nail clippers in my hospital bag. Didn't end up needing them because he did not have any real nails when he was born. So yeah. Uh, and as he spits up right now in the bath, burp cloth. We're on the topic. You're okay. They do give you the sucker for their nose in the hospital. Um, and we did, we do use that often because he has some loose boogers most of the time. But other than that, the picker that I will insert a, a photo of is really helpful for him. Okay, Papas, let's rinse, let's rinse. Since we're on the topic, um, because I had a boy in the hospital, he was circumcised, and they give you a tub of Vaseline, well, not a tub, a tube of Vaseline to use for their circumcision. Um, so I would say Vaseline and or Aquaphor um, is really helpful during the newborn phase. If you just get Vaseline, that has many uses and is hypoallergenic, so use that. If not, if you could afford to get some Aquaphor, get you some Aquaphor because the way that their skin peels is so crazy. Like for the first couple of weeks, their skin is just peeling. Even after we, we can give him sponge baths and stuff, um, we would apply the Aquaphor to his body. It's okay. We would apply the aquaphor and that would pretty much do the job um and if you don't have that well if you want to get even more name brand the tubby todd all over ointment was working wonders for him we just started using that on his face um, because he's been having some baby acne yeah so yeah that tubby Todd all over ointment works wonders for him um so yeah next item that we used a whole bunch of i'm looking at my little list because mom brain i wouldn't be able to tell y'all um next item that we used a lot of and i didn't even know existed um as you continue to feed your baby you will notice that milk gets stuck to their tongue basically as like this coating and I tried to wipe it away with the burp cloth when he spits up. I tried to wipe it all out. And then um, later on, I tried to use a wet washcloth and wipe it away. Both were not doing the trick. So I'll insert an image of what I ended up ordering off of Amazon, which has helped us. Um, they're just, I think it's called a tongue brush. Instead of a toothbrush, they have tongue brushes for newborns. And I just use that every other day type situation, but you can use them as often as you'd like. Um, so yeah, that was really helpful during the newborn stage for him because he had that buildup. Um, and I believe formula and breastfed babies can have that buildup because it's all milk, but he gets both formula and breast milk. Um, and he has really benefited from that. It hasn't gotten like, the part of his tongue that's like all the way back and sometimes the sides too are harder because once you put something in his mouth, it's locked down, okay? <laughs> but yeah, other than the basics like diapers, wipes, clothes, you know, um, that's really it. Um, what I have liked, which is more on the bougie side, if you can get onesies that zip from their foot up that makes um what is it called that makes our middle of the night diaper changing times really um, go by much quicker. you can't afford like the sterilizer machines and dryers just get you a dryer rack for your bottles and everything it really does the same thing as long as you are cleaning your bottles, 
thoroughly. Um, some people use the boil method, uh, but you have to check um, temperature ranges for you doing plastic and glass because you don't want any toxic chemicals to be released. Don't quote me on that. I don't really know because I do have a sterilizer, but here lately, since he's been using so many more bottles, I've been using just the rack. Um, and we're doing great. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it for our essentials. Oh, I also panic purchased um, a hairbrush and comb because for some reason I didn't get any as gifts. Super weird, but um, yeah. That pretty much concludes um, my newborn essentials list. Leave a comment down below, any questions you may have, um, and I'll be sure to respond to you. Follow me on all my social media platforms, Pop and Shay. Um, and yeah, that's it. Bath time is done. Look at the curls. <laughs> yeah, and we will see you all on our next video. Bye.